Welcome, and follow me is a Kyocero Duro Force Pro, and today I'll show you how to enable the Do Not Disturb mode. So to get started, all you really need to do is pull down the notification panel, and from here you'll find the Do Not Disturb. You can also tap on the arrow if you don't see it over there, uh, and it should be somewhere in the lower ones, or when you tap on edit, you can also enable them additionally here. And all you really need to do is just tap on it. It gives you a couple options. So uh, auto cancel off, or you can set it to be canceled automatically after a set amount of time, or well, at spe a specific hour, I guess. So um, for one hour, and uh, it basically gets the hour that is right now and adds additional hour, or you can also increase it. As you can see uh, for seven hours, six, um, it tells you for how many hours and basically till what time it ends and then all you really need to do is just press on done and it's in effect. Now to disable it you will just tap on it and you can also go into more settings right here and you have also priority allowance so from here you have option to change how it well, basically functions. So when it's not disturb mode is enabled uh, you have priority allowances so uh, at this moment messages are none so when it's enabled there will be no messages but uh, when do not disturb mode is enabled you will still get calls uh, from contacts only Oops. Um, and you can change both of them uh, so you can set it also to no one um, you can change it to contacts uh, as it is right now or favorites which in my opinion is the best one and messages have the same one or basically no one and uh, you also have an option right here to uh, repeat colors so basically if someone calls you twice within a, a 15 mi minute period uh, it will actually allow the second call to go through no matter uh, what this is set so for instance i can have it set to none so i would be unable to get any calls whatsoever but still if the same person calls twice in a row uh, the second time i will actually get the call it might be important so it's a i guess a nice thing to maybe enable sometimes and uh, let's go back uh, you also have automatic rules which you can set a automatic schedule for the do not disturb mode to be enabled by itself so you have a couple of preset as you can see uh, so weekends uh, weeknights and event or you can also add a new one um, which all of them are already there so you can change these for instance um, so once you choose one for instance like this one uh, you can rename it if you wish to uh, you can check it on like so and then you have the days so this is the days that it will be act uh, acted activated in by itself so uh, we could create a monday through friday for instance routine like that and then make it for instance a work uh, do not disturb mode so when you're at work uh, you won't be interrupted by whatever from by your phone um, so you choose start time and you could choose it to this is nine and let's make it even nine and by some reason cancel it because there we go. So there we go. There, there is 9 a.m. and end time. We would want to go to five, like so, and make it p.m. And now, uh, this will be automatically active because of the time that we have set. You also have the um, do not disturb. Um, how it works so priority only uh, alarms only total silence or vibrate uh, priority only will be whatever we have said previously with the calls and uh, how how they work so this probably would be the best option because you have the most control over it and basically now it's set so once you get out of here um, you can have it disabled and it will automatically enable itself every single day on its own uh, to keep uh, this kind of uh, setup active and that is how you could set it up 
And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.